In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create Google Ads call out extensions, including a whole bunch of examples and best practices. Now, call out extensions are often overlooked by Google advertisers, but they shouldn't be. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you want to include them and dedicate a bit of time to getting this right. Firstly, you can use call out extensions to help emphasize the benefits associated with your product service, help convince people to purchase them. Along those lines, you can also use it to provide more information. If there's extra detail that you can give, in a Google ad, you can do so at the call ad extension level. That might help get the click, help improve your click through rate, which we know helps everything within your Google ad account, help with conversions, etc., etc. You can also use call ad extensions to differentiate yourself from your competition. There are lots of advertisers probably competing for the same keywords in the same areas. And if you can add that little bit of extra information, really emphasize the benefits you have above and beyond your competition, you can help win that space. So lots of reasons to include call out extensions. I'll quickly show you how you set them up and then we'll talk about examples, best practices, what you want to include, all that stuff. So when you're in your Google ad account, you wanna come over here to ads and extensions and then click on extensions. Then if we click on this plus button and then select call out extension, the second one in the list, then you need to decide at which level you want these call out extensions to be added. Do you want them to be added to at the account level, campaign level, or ad group level? Now, if you've got benefits associated with your product service, things you want to include in your call out extensions that apply to every single campaign you're going to run within your account or use the account level. If you've got some that are going to apply to everything within a certain campaign, but perhaps not other campaigns, then the campaign level. But if you want to get really specific, you can go all the way down to the ad group where perhaps there are certain things you want to talk about based on a keyword grouping, an ad group, and that doesn't apply to other ad groups. So you can make that decision based on, on your business. Typically, we might use a mixture of all three. We might have some call out extensions that apply it to every single campaign, some that are campaign specific, and then some, not usually very many, it does depend on the business, that are more ad group specific. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at account for now, but know that we would um, change this if we wanted to. And then we simply add in the text into these call out extension options. I believe there's 20 different options is the maximum that you can add. So you can really add quite a lot here and give Google quite a lot of uh, flexibility with which to test. But I wanna start going through some best practices. So best practice number one when it comes to your Google Ads call out extension is to be super specific. So for example, instead of having a call out extension being fast delivery, which is obviously a benefit associated with whatever you do, if you can deliver it very quickly, can you be more specific? So instead of fast day delivery, can you put in instead next day delivery? That's more specific. People understand, they understand exactly what that is. Or perhaps it's, you know, instead of fast installation, it's three day installation. Obviously this is gonna depend on your product and service. Instead of something like save more money, or save money with us, you know, again, depending on what you offer, you could have save 64% um, on average. Something like that, okay? Really specific. What's the average that someone using your product, service, etc., will save in comparison to your competitions? That's another example. Instead of kitchen worktops, you wanna talk about part of the what you offer, you offer kitchen worktops, you could say marble kitchen worktops, or you could have something like luxury marble worktops. And that specificity, again, is going to help get the click. It's also going to help filter out the people that in this scenario aren't interested in luxury marble worktops. Perhaps they're more interested in, in cheaper um, alternatives. So that's what I talked about earlier, where if you use call out extensions cleverly, you can filter out unwanted clicks. You can dissuade people from clicking on your ads and costing you money that are not gonna be interested in what you have to offer. And if you specialize in luxury marble worktops as opposed to just kitchen worktops in general, that could be a good way to go. So that's being super specific. Best practice number two is to be concise and focus on one thing. Now, obviously you have a 25 character limit. You can see this over here. So this is, you can't waffle on at all with a call out extension. That's not how they are designed. But even then you still want to focus on the one thing. Sometimes you can kind of squeeze two things in, becomes a little bit confusing. So what would be an example of that, okay? If we wanted to talk about how great our customer service is, you could have something like 24 seven customer service. It's focusing on one element of customer service and that's that you can get in touch with us any day, any night, any day of the year, et cetera, et cetera. You could also have something like pet friendly. Okay, and that might be better than having pet and kid friendly. You might be better off having pet friendly as one call out extension and then kid friendly as another call out extension. Keeping the focus on one thing 
it just makes it easier for people to digest. By the way, as we're going through this, you can see exactly what this looks like on the right-hand side in a preview. Um, I'll talk more about when call out extensions are and are not displayed and stuff like that, but this gives you an indication of what this might look like. And of course, you can take a look at both the mobile preview and we can go over to the desktop preview as well. So good idea to keep a, uh, an idea. Here we've got the call out extensions highlighted. If we turn that off, then included with the description, it's gonna look a bit more realistic, but a very useful tool that Google provides, which is awesome. Call out extension best practice number three is to create a whole bunch of call out extensions. I would say a minimum of six, and effectively, the more you can create, the better. We've you know added in six here, but we can keep going and keep going and keep going. We know that Google is very good at testing the options that we give, working out which ones perform best, putting those in your ads, and getting you better results. If you only add in, you know, four, for example, you're limiting the possibility that Google could strike gold by selecting one of your call out extensions, having it perform really well. So take a bit of extra time, get this done. Don't need to keep doing it again and again and again, but get this done, get a whole bunch added in. And that way you can find out what works best and you can see using your data of which call out extensions are shown more. Okay, our prospects are interested more in these elements of our product or service. Can we actually then inform the rest of the ad and, and change the rest of the ad using that data. So can we change the headline, the description, et cetera, to focus more on those elements that we can see are doing well via our call out extensions. Best practice number four is to take a look at what your competitors are using. So obviously spend some time in Google searching around the various keywords that you're wanting to target. And then when you see ads, you know, like this example over here and pop up with call out extensions, have a look at what your competitor's using. Can you beat whatever they're including? So for example, if someone was, you know, the product or service is all about saving money and someone else had save 64% on average, could you go in and say, say save 73% on average? Obviously this has to be truthful and, and realistic that you can deliver on that, but can you beat it? If someone's got three day installation, can you go ahead and add in same day installation? Obviously, you're not always going to be able to beat what your competitors are using and what they're talking about, but just think how that might look when the ads are side by side, someone searching in Google, if your thing that you're including in your call extension is notably better than what your competitors are saying and they're side by side. That's a really big competitive advantage. Now we know call out extensions aren't always displayed, so it's not necessarily going to be that clean, but it's just a good practice in general to do competitive research, see what they're using for their call out extensions, also for their headlines, description, etc. Model from the stuff that you like, try and beat the stuff that you can. That can make a really big difference, particularly in competitive markets. Best practice number five is to not be afraid to sell with your call out extensions. So let's say, for example, you're running a limited time only promotion. You could have some, you could have a call out extension like hurry, hurry, limited time only. Something like that is absolutely fine. Or you could have um, three day special offer. Not a problem. It doesn't have to be sort of generic benefits associated with your product or service, which is what most people use. You can be more explicit and encourage people to take action and try and sell the click and then obviously sell the action once they reach your website. Absolutely fine and well worth including at least one or two of that type in amongst the overall mix if it's appropriate for your business. Another best practice when it comes to Google Ads call out extensions is to establish your credibility. How do you do that? If you've been in business for a long time, you could include something like trusted for 27 years or you could have something like um, results or money back. That's something that's going to help establish credibility, shows your confidence in what you're able to deliver. You could have, again, trusted by three million plus people. Again, it's going to vary depending on your business, but these sorts of things can make your prospect feel more confident about potentially working with your company, buying from your company. That is a big deal. It makes sense to include those if you can. Best practice number seven for your call out extensions is to be very careful repeating yourself. Now remember that these call out extensions can be displayed alongside each other. Now you could end up wasting that space if you're saying the very a very similar thing multiple times. So for example, I wouldn't recommend that you had something like trusted for 21 years and then also have um, 21 years of experience kind of saying the same thing. And if those two were to show up alongside each other, that just looks a little bit weird and it's a bit of a waste. This isn't the end of the world if you make this mistake, but you have limited space. Google's only gonna show um, a few of your call out extensions. Why repeat the same thing when you could emphasize other things, help sell that click, help sell that conversion. 
And best practice number eight when it comes to call out extensions is to use this advanced options section here. So if I expand this, we can see that there's a few different options that we can use. Firstly, we can set a start and end date. If you're running a limited time only promotion, absolutely fine to have that end and have the call out extensions associated with those end at a certain date. Saves you having to remember about it. You could forget that could cause issue, cause wasted budget, etc. You can also set a schedule if you would like to only operate during certain times of the day, certain days of the week. So let's say, for example, you were boasting about your fantastic customer service in your call out extensions. Well, maybe that only applies on certain days of the week, certain times of the day, so you only want to display those at those times. You could do something along those lines. That's not a problem. So you can have a little play with this. It's not necessary by any means. Some businesses want to play with this, some don't, but worth checking out, worth thinking about, okay, could this work for me? Could I use this? If you can, go ahead and use it. And best practice number nine when it comes to your Google Ads call out extensions is to make sure that you review the data, review the performance of your call out extensions, and then make adjustments accordingly, effectively pausing, removing underperforming call out extensions, and then ideally adding in new ones to test against your best performers to continually try and improve performance. Now, I've just brought up a campaign from a client. This campaign was run before we started um, working with them, and this is not how we'd recommend setting up call out extensions. We would recommend having more than just the five, but we can see here that Google very quickly worked out that the free consultation call out extension was um, a waste of time and gave it almost no impressions. Far more on the other ones. And we can see that there are some differences in performance, particularly when we're looking at the cost per conversion over here. Relatively similar, nothing um, mind blowing. But for example, we could select some of the more expensive ones, turn those off. You can obviously look at your click data, your click through rate and your conversion data. If you have that set up, your conversion rate and make decisions going, actually this call out extension improved performance, this one decreased performance. Don't expect the differences between call out extensions to be massive, but remember Google Ads is a game of incremental margins. And if you can improve something by three or 4% here and three or 4% here and three or 4%, it all adds up to a much larger improvement that allows you to scale campaigns, et cetera. So the way you do, you come into here is just go to as an extensions, click on extensions and then select call out as the options. And then once you've got the campaign up and running, you'll see data like this. Hopefully, as I said, you'll have more than the five options included. I've just got this for demonstration purposes and you'll be able to see differences between them that you can make, then make adjustments using, but well worth doing. It's also important to note that call out extensions won't always show alongside your Google Ads. And this applies to all Google Ads extensions, right? Sometimes they'll show, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll show for certain advertisers on a page and not others. Google's doing what they think is the best approach with these extensions to try and get the clicks, get the best possible results, right? So if you're searching for your ads, you see them pop up, etc., and you're not seeing call out extensions pop up, or you're taking a look at other advertisers and you're not seeing call out extensions pop up, it doesn't mean that they're not set up correctly, that they're not using them, and it could just be that they're not being displayed. Something that's important to be aware of, but do be aware that a lot of advertisers don't use call out extensions. They might use site link extensions. That's the most common one that people are going to use, but maybe they don't go beyond that. They don't add in any other ad extensions. That's a waste. You want to add in as many extensions as you can that are appropriate. They're going to help you get that click, help you get that lead, help you get that sale. Um, so well worth doing. And it does provide some competitive advantage, particularly if you use some of the techniques that we talked about in this video. As we've discussed, call out extensions can really help improve the performance of your Google ad campaigns. But the single most important ad extension to including the setup are site link extensions. I show you exactly how to set them up here, including a whole bunch of examples, best practices, things that you can use right now to get better results from Google Ads and get better results from your site link extensions. Go ahead, check it out.